Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dragon here. And or the dead person, because I'm pretty sure I already changed it, but... I'm going to be retelling a story that was on my channel earlier, and I went back and looked at it, and it was like really, really bad quality. It was about the time that, um, my school was, well, this is the scary, scariest moment in high school. It's the bomb threat that we had. Right now, I'm a senior in high school, so, like, this was two years ago for me being a sophomore. It basically started out as regular Friday. I was like, I got my stuff, I was ready for school, went to school, and like it was a, it was the beginning of the year, so it's a, it's a football game day, and I think it was one of the big football games that we had too. When we usually have these, we usually have the pep rallies and everything. So I go, we go through first hour, and it's still marching season, so we're out on the field and everything. So I. Uh, what you could say is basically we do that and then we cut class we cut that uh, that class short so we can get ready for the pep rally basically go back to class get our instruments out and everything we can go to our second hour check in with them and then go to um, they go right back and we can get ready and everything so after that um, we go to the pep rally we do everything that we need to we play our songs and I think sophomore year that was our Elton John show so we played like Saturday night's all right providing. Yes, I'm going a little bit more into detail for this. Um, after that, like, this is when I played my radio clarinet, and I ended up losing my little, um, my little ligature thing that holds my read on. And basically, after that, I had to go back and look for it. And I found it, and I was walking back to class, and I was like, one last people to leave the band room when I got there because I had to tell my teacher that I found it. Um, I was walking with one of my friends to there's this thing called the PAD and it's like just a long flat building and overhead with a bunch of uh, like classrooms in it and everything. So uh, we were walking and then there was an announcement made where I basically like, I got into my class with one of my friends, and the announcement was made that all kids, all the students need to go to the, like, the football field on the other campus for, there's an elementary school by my high school, and everything. So we had to go there, I was like, wait, what the fuck is going on? Because we didn't, we had a sub that day, too. And she's like, you just need to leave now. I was like, oh, shit. So I was I left class and then I I was walking with one of my friends and I was like, "Hey, what's going on?" I mean, cuz I didn't know and like, I don't know. And basically, we got to the field and they started like they they told us to go find our teachers and everything. I was like, "Okay." And which I mean, I didn't have a teacher because I had a sub. And it was like, what the fuck? And then finally, someone told us that someone wrote on the, uh, the window, or the mirrors in the bathroom, saying that there was three bombs in the, uh, the high school. So, of course, you have to call the cops, they have to sweep the school and everything. And if they, uh, so paranoid after us standing around for such a long time, they thought it was with one of the students, so they called the... Uh, SWAT team down, and the SWAT team basically had a stand in line, all kids, so they could go through our bags to make sure we didn't have them. And Lord Almighty, have I? Well, let me rephrase that. I have never seen so many drugs, alcohol, and weapons on a field ever. From what I was told, it was the there was three or four of the 50 gallon trash bags full of just drugs and alcohol it's like holy shit and <laughs> fuck I mean, it shows how safe our school is like goddamn I mean I don't care anymore it's my last year like I graduate in two months or less than a month now so like there's that so there was kids dropping knives, bottles of alcohol, bags of weed, and other stuff. Like, I didn't even care. I mean, I didn't have anything bad in my backpack. All I had was my diabetic stuff and some food. 
and like might work. After that happened, they just basically they moved us onto the other side of the field, and basically we hung out for like a long ass time until they said that like we go clear. I mean, some kids basically when they got to the other side with all, like the playground and everything, they fucking left. I was like, I don't blame you. Then after that, uh, they said that it was clear for us to leave and everything. And, um, like, it was clear for us to go into the building. And the only, like, day I remember this is because that day, I was dating this one girl, and that day was our actual six-month anniversary, which I was like, well, that's kind of a fucked way to, to spend your six months being stuck in a bomb threat so I mean, there's that and then they they told us that they've cleared most of the buildings and they're clearing one more and then like we could eat lunch and we were, eat, we were gonna eat lunch so late it was at like one i think it was like two o'clock in the afternoon we usually eat lunch at like 11. i was like i'm fucking starving i didn't like i like they ended up finding the kid who wrote them and like I think he's getting, he was, he got sent to something to get help and everything. I was like, well, he probably fucking needs it anyway. But like, that's not something you fuck around with. It's like, that caused like mass panic. But it did get me out of a, a geometry test. It, it just like kind of, just like, if, I think they ended up finding the kid, like, they found the kid, and they put him in the, the cop car, and everyone saw him, and figured out who it was, but I'm thankful that, like, there was no bombs or anything, and this kid was great, yes. Alright, guys, this has been Fragget or the Dead Pixel, signing off. Have a good day, and peace out. There should be more videos coming soon.